Hi, my name is Justin Osborne and I'm sitting here with Lance Sargent, my business partner in a company that we formed called SOS Systems. And that company has also created a product, a security product, it's a door security product called the Guardian Angel. We anticipate this video to be seen by superintendents and small business owners or large business owners, maybe church leaders or parent-led organizations. And the goal of this video is for us to just walk through some of the advantages and highlights of the Guardian Angel and why it, it will help you and your, your teachers, your parents, so your students, employees, or anybody else that is in the facility that you work in uh, to, to protect them in an active shooter situation. Yeah, I think that probably one of the most important things in a crisis situation is you're going to be nervous and you're going to you're going to want to get to a safe place. And what's nice about the Guardian Angel is it's not something that takes a long time to deploy. Um, it's three simple steps, and uh, the great thing is it deploys in about 15 seconds. And we've had several people try it, try to deploy it, and even people that have deployed it the first time uh, get really good times uh, as far as how long it takes them. So I think that's probably one of the best things about the Guardian Angel is that you can you can set it up and you can secure a classroom in about 15 seconds. Yeah, and Lance, do you want to walk through um, the actual steps to deploying the device? Yeah, actually, first thing to do, we're going to, you know, every every uh, Guardian Angel is going to have a key to a box, and uh, you're going to, most teachers keep their lanyard or people keep their la a key on their lanyard. So you basically unlock that box, set it on the side, hit one quick release and you pull out a cable and you'll see in the video that that cable just hooks to the door not the door handle but below a, a system that we've set up on the door to easily hook to then you grab the point or the grab the ratchet hit it about five or six times and it pulls it tight it's not something that someone big and strong has to do um, we've had ladies 110 115 pounds say wow this is so easy so that's the great thing about the guardian angel is that three small steps to deploying it and it's not really difficult, especially with some practice on professional de development days and things like that where you get time to work with the Guardian Angel. You know, another great benefit to the Guardian Angel is it's safe and secure when it's not in use. And I know in the school systems, uh, this, has been, this is a common issue, is trying to make sure that you have safety devices that can't be used uh, in a negative way, either towards the teachers or towards the students. And this would be applicable to any small business or large business or church. Um, you want to make sure that the device is used for its intended purpose. And that's why we decided to put a lock and key on the Guardian Angel, so that when it's not in use, only the individuals that you choose to have access to that device to respond in an emergency situation have the ability to deploy and take off the box and deploy the unit. Another safety issue, Justin, with the Guardian Angel is that, you know, this is a steel box and we thought well, we need to make something that is safe if you run into it or, or, or anything like that. So we've put rounded edges on it. Um, we've tried to make it low profile as far as not being very big. Um, we want it to look like an air conditioner box or something to do with maintenance that kids are going to walk by and not notice. And it, the great thing is, is that, you know, it's at about thigh, le thigh high level. It's not up around your head. So if you did run into it, it's not going to really, really hurt you. So I think that that was probably one of the important things is that we make sure not only is it safe that people can't get into it, but it's also safe that if you do hit it or you do run into it, it's not going to hurt you. You know, another great feature of the Guardian Angel is just its durability and its construction. I mean, it's made of high-strength steel frame, um, and the, it can withstand over 3,700 pounds of pressure once it's deployed. The unit is just very, very strong, and you've noticed from some of the video, you'll notice from some of the video here where I'm a pretty big guy. I'm six foot five, 250 pounds, and you can see me kicking the door and multiple times and you know Lance we've had sheriffs that teach uh, training tactical training and res uh, active shooter response training inside of school systems and other small businesses and one of the things that they say is that device or that door it, need it needs to be able to stand 10 hard hits 10 to 15 hard hits because at that point we all know that most shooters or most in aggressive in uh, intruders will then move to another door if they can't get inside. Yeah, and that works That that works with a good point. You know, you're talking about, if you'll see in the video where Justin is kicking, the device is set up on the inside of the classroom. Well, just to prove how hard that we're putting pressure on that 
door. We're kicking it from the inside out. Most school doors open out. Well, the great thing about the guardian angel, let's say that that, clock, that door did open in. We have devised a system, which is not on the video that you don't see, where we can also, and it's the same, using the same device, we just add one piece, and that guardian angel will work on a door that opens in. It'll work on, it'll work on swinging door, uh, uh, gym doors, either way, whether they swing in or out. Securing a gym is kind of a big deal, you know, um, because that's a big place for people to go. And a lot of times people just say, well, we can't go there. Well, if you're stuck there and if the guy's down the hall, it'd be nice to be able to secure that place too. And we think we have done that with the guardian angel. Uh, so what you would in effect have to do is you'd have to pull, uh, maybe by putting a foot up on the wall, you'd have to pull that door to try to pull it out into the hallway against the guardian angel. And our point to this video was if it can withstand all those kicks on the wrong side, it can certainly withstand a hard pull from the outside. You know, another great feature of the Guardian Angel is that we put um, pepper spray inside the box. It's, it is optional, you can opt out, but we just had an overwhelming response of administration uh, or administrators and teachers and law enforcement, um, government officials that are very excited about being able to safely and securely arm uh, those people in that emergency threat situation with pepper spray so that they have some shot of defense uh, in the event that the, an intruder can come into the classroom, break glass. Uh, now, with the guardian angel deployed, it's highly likely they won't gain entry or it'll take them a long time to do so. Um, so if they were to break the glass in an attempt to unlock the door or try to find the guardian angel, which would be very difficult, if not even possible, uh, it could open up a window of opportunity for that teacher or that leader in that situation uh, from a 10 or 15 feet away be able to spray or douse the door, the chest area of the uh, intruder. And it can, I mean, we've actually, Lance and I have tested the pepper spray and it'll jack you up. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely uh, got to be careful with it. But still, it's, uh, it's something, you know, that as a teacher, I know that we can't have pepper spray or mace because I can't put it in my file cabinet, which has a key. But the problem is, is I get in and out of there. I have a call, I have a, a cabinet in my room. Uh, it has a lock and a key, but I get in and out of there. And, and, and if I forget to lock it sometimes, or I forget to lock the filing cabinet sometimes, and a kid gets a hold of that, that's not good. That's what's great about the guardian angel is that the only time that you're going to get into that box is one, either to practice when kids aren't around, or two, is when you have a, a critical situation where you're going to have to. And that's the nice thing about the maces. You know, the guardian angel, we, we want it to withstand anything, but you know, there's nothing that guarantees that if an intruder doesn't spend, if an intruder doesn't spend an, a certain amount of time on it and continues and continues and continues to try to get into that classroom, that they aren't going to get in. The guardian angel is going to slow them down. It's going to cost a lot of time. We believe it's the best thing out there and buys you the most time, but it's nice that teachers, as a teacher, I know if that guy was to come through the door, that I'd have something that can help defend um, the kids and myself. You know, we shot the the previous or our first commercial, and you know, things behind the scene that you don't see is, you know, our intruder. We told him not to specifically. We don't want him. So we got to be careful. You know, we're in a school that people are letting us use. That's one of the reasons we didn't break the glass, but. Um, when he pulled on the door handle, as you can see, he pulls it and doesn't pull with a lot of force and that thing falls off. Well, as you know, usually when the door handle comes off one side, it falls off the other. So if that guardian angel would not have been on there, um, the intruder would have come into the classroom, you know, and um, there could have been casualties. But as you can see, the guardian angel was on that door. And when that guardian angel was on there, as you can see in any of our videos, that, that, that door doesn't flinch, you know. Um, it doesn't move, and so it's just another great facet that, you know, we, we want people to get their school safe. You know, um, if you don't get the guardian angel, you need to get something else, but, but something has to be on that door because you cannot rely on a door handle and a lock, and glass gets broke. Speaking of glass getting broke, you know, that's one of the things in the video that we didn't do that we really wanted to do in this first promotional video, but one of the common responses that we have had on social media is, well, that's great, the guardian angel looks very sturdy, but what if somebody just breaks the glass? Well, we thought about that, and that's one of the ingenious designs of the guardian angel. If an intruder were to break, the, now most schools, 
want glass in, in their door system so they can see in and so people can see out. And so when you have glass, now you have the opportunity for an active threat to break the glass and just simply unlock the door or to undeploy or take off any other perhaps competing products that are or door systems that are on there. So if a hand can get through, uh, if a body can get through, then uh, a system can be unlocked, taken off, and then entry into the room can be accessed. With the Guardian Angel, we've moved it down the wall and that's a purposeful so that if somebody breaks the glass and they unlock the door handle, that door's not moving. And unless they can reach the guardian angel, find where it is located on the wall, and then find the release lever and deploy that. Uh, meanwhile, uh, while the leader in the room uh, is more than likely attacking them with pepper spray at this point, um, then uh, they're not going to have that. They're not, one, they can't reach it. They right. can't reach the guardian angel. And uh, so by putting it out of their reach, we've eliminated the idea that breaking glass will now unlock the door. If they break glass, uh, and we've been talking to a lot of uh, law enforcement professionals about this, if they break the glass and they're trying to gain entry, it's time for uh, the leader in the room to activate the, the pepper spray to try to slow them down even more. Yeah, and even if they break it and, and, and say the teacher doesn't have the pepper spray, they're still taking time to do all of these things. And if they find it and they, and they think they can cut the cable, as you and I both know, when we've, when we've cut the cable to put on the Guardian Angel, with a good pair of bolt cutters, probably three times it took before we could ever get through it. So you're not going to just take a pair of snips and cut this wire. Um, uh, it's just not going to happen. So you're going to spend a lot of time and you're going to have to get your arms inside. And you and I both know that a lot of those windows are only six inches wide or five inches wide and you can't get your arms in there to do that. So regardless, all this stuff takes time. And um, we think that the Guardian Angel is definitely the best thing out there that that people can't reach. It's just a great thing. They're going to have to go do some tactics to get into that classroom, which takes a lot of time. And speaking of time, the one thing that we felt in talking, you know, with the uh, fire marshal is that um, there's devices out there that they have that go on doors. But one of the biggest problems with them is if what if there's a fire? What if the guys? What if a, a shooter is going to come through the window? You know, you've got to be able to get out of that classroom, as you can see on our video. Literally, literally two to three seconds. I mean, it's you push a release, it recoils the, the cable, you unhook it, and you're out that door. So that's the great thing about the Guardian Angel is, you know, and I think I got that from maybe one of the instructors that we talked to that taught a lot of the terror training is that, you know, the Guardian Angel has every facet that you're looking for. I mean, it has the quick release. It, it, you know, it's strong, durable. You can't get to it through the window. Um, we're arming teachers with mace. It... It uh, has a quick release. I mean, the one that we specifically talked to, and we've talked to more than one, was really, really, really excited that he says, this is what everybody's looking for. Uh, we want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, we're excited about this product that's the standard in the industry, and it's also so cost-effective you know, to save the lives of your teachers or your students. Could be my kids, could be your kids, uh, but for the price of a textbook, being able to add a layer of protection that could potentially save a room full of people, it, as, our, as our slogan says, secure the innocent, that's our goal with this product. Yeah, if you want to get a hold of us, uh, angelonwatch.com.